peak deer season in the tri-state and no doubt you've seen dead deer laying on the side of the highway at some point. Well, one Warren County man whose wife was in an accident with a deer is wondering if deer whistles just might prevent it from happening again. This amazing video from Michigan shows how quickly a deer can dart out in front of you. Oh my God. In this case, a snowmobile took out the animal. Have you seen deer? Oh yes, we have, we have a lot of deer. Closer to home, Jim McHugh says his wife recently hit a deer, causing more than $12,000 damage to her car here in Warren County. One minute she was driving, and the next there was a deer looking at her through the windshield. So he decided to buy a set of deer whistles, sold at hardware and auto parts stores for as little as 10 bucks. I don't really know if they really, really work. So would a whistle on your front bumper really have any effect? Well, we tracked down a professor who a decade ago did an extensive study of these whistles and on whether deer could really hear them at all. And we ran them through a test track that we had where we were able to record from the point of view of a deer. Dr. Pete Chaffel studies animal hearing here at the University of Cincinnati. He co-authored this study testing six deer whistles. The good news, he says deer can hear the whistles. The bad news, your car may hit the deer first. The amount of road that the car is covering per second, by the time the, the, the signal actually would have reached the deer, the car would have been close enough probably to strike the deer. No university study has ever proven that whistles prevent deer accidents. Bob McHugh, though, says it can't hurt. Oh, I, I, I'm willing to give it, a, give it a try. Now, newer whistles are battery powered. They claim to be louder. However, many municipalities, including the city of Cincinnati, do not install whistles on their cars. The Cincinnati Park Board tells me tonight they have no evidence the whistles work and they don't want to give their employees a false sense of security.